it's the first episode of the Midnight Lodge here. I'm Chuck Connery, joined on my left by the very ever so talented Dr. Gruesome, the ever so hairy BJ, Brandon, aka, and Professor Von Gould over here, the uh, queen of the laboratory, I guess we could say. And uh, we're just going to do a little bit of a laid back show here. It's first show is more of a test run. We're going to talk about maybe some movies if we've seen them, and we're probably going to talk about Strange Occurrences. We're going to do a show where we kind of combine all these horror elements into one show, so maybe it won't get boring, and we can always switch it up. Maybe in the future we'll do calling. So that's what we're going to do. So now you know why we're he why we are here, I should say. So what about you, Doctor? How are you doing? Uh, it's been an interesting evening. It has been. It has. We had a, a, a little good night. Um, how about you? Can't complain. Hey, barbecue didn't kill me. We're good. No runs for the border yet. That's always good. <laughs> what about you guys? How are y'all doing? It's good. Good. I, I had a great time. You had a great I time? Had, yeah. Anytime there's food time. involved, I'm, I'm having a good time. We managed to uh, acquire an alien specimen. Did get the alien. Prometheus, the alien. We found out if you ding a bell three times with a large hammer, you get an alien. You get, get this alien. You get the aliens. Isn't he, isn't he a specimen? Speaking of aliens. I believe he's asexual too. <laughs> uh, he is I asexual. believe uh, as, a, as a group we find aliens a very interesting subject. Very interesting. Very. Would we like to uh, start conversation with alien? Or would we rather start conversation with movies? Well, since you've done rang us in that direction. I have an idea. Do you have a personal alien story you could tell? Have you ever seen something that you We have explore? a recent alien story together. We share this one. We do. We do. On the 4th of July in, was it, this was Grootley Log. Grootley Log, small town, Tennessee, small town. We was at the 4th of July celebration. Watching fireworks. The big celebration in Grundy. When a red beam appeared in the sky <laughs> that we don't know what it was. To be fair, could have been a drone. Could have been drone. But but drone does not linger for as long a time as red dot. No, it does not. It does not have speed as red dot. Does not disappear as quickly as a red dot. So what? What time frame? Like how long was it there? I know normally right the after, did it like start before hours. the fireworks? It well, we did not notice until fireworks had begun. Mm -hmm. But it it lingered. It disappeared behind trees, then returned extremely too quickly for for to charge battery. Yes, I've got a great character here. Yes. Uh, that way I can talk because I'm okay. busy thinking about the character. <laughs> yeah. She's not really from Transylvania or wherever. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. But uh, I just don't think somebody in Grundy would have a drum. A tractor, I, maybe. But I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. No offense to anybody in Grundy, but I mean, let's be realistic. I mean, I don't doubt that somebody's got a drone, but but they're not flying it out there. With the fireworks. I just don't see they're, that happening. Well, their their firework display lasts a pretty good while. Mm -hmm. It lasted a pretty good while this year for sure. It's at least 35 to 45 minutes mm -hmm. like that those things are going on. Definitely. So, that thing, if it was hovering there before and it was a drone, then it was already in the air, you know, through the fireworks and stuff, and it flew around and stuff like that. Like I said, those things, I think, usually their batteries only last... About an hour. This one kind of stays stationary in like one spot for a while, and then it would kind of rotate this way or that way. But it would go right back to the to the almost the same spot at different times. Like kind of lock in the same. Spot. I have some very terrible, like always, footage. <laughs> like every time somebody catches an alien, it's always it's always, like it's always messed it's up. Always like so I will probably insert that over this clip while we're talking about this, just so they can get an idea of what what we saw, even though it's just a red dot in the sky that did some weird stuff. Um, if this was like Nashville, maybe even Murfreesboro, I'd say, yeah, probably a drone or something like that. But in Grundy yeah. County, you ain't going to see that's, somebody out there flying a drone. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, and, and if it was, because like, I am more of the believer than the skeptic, but if it was, you know, a drone, 
Um, I mean, it's very well that they could have been, you know, filming the fireworks and stuff because, mm -hmm. you know, there are people that go out to, you know, the state parks and stuff around here and they go out there and they film Stone Door and stuff like that with the sun coming up. But it's like, usually it's people that are not from here. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I just don't. What see. That was what, the drone thing reminded me, that was one of the movies we watched was Blair Witch. Is that right? Yeah, I just recently saw it and the they new used one? that drone on there. Yeah. So. Oh, was that on the Yeah. The, yeah. yeah. Okay. There we go. There that we go. Exactly. Um, <laughs> very nice segue. Now you, well, <laughs> now back to this real quick though. You live like right by where this area is. They do too, pretty much. Like you guys live right around it. Yes. And I think if somebody was droning around here, you guys would be seeing that more. That's exactly. Often. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It seems like we would have noticed it you before. Think. You would think so. But and plus, the night was the fair. There was no drone tonight, right? No. That, that was what? That was what? It was. Locked. Yep. We might have thought it was the first. For a second. <laughs> okay, we're like, the, the case file was, was closed and opened back up within a yeah. two minute time period. It was what, weird. Okay. It did not make sound. Exactly. That's landing. what I was going to say. It did, landing made no sound. It made no sound coming <laughs> over us like that, but then whenever it was. Yeah, we, we I don't know, it was just... Do, 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 like a helicopter. Yeah. So, so what yeah. are you saying? Are we living in a real life Twin Peaks here in Grundy County? Yeah. Yeah. Is that a door to another dimension out there? Because it's around the same location, is it not? Given the location? Yeah. yeah. The exact possibly. location. There's an entranceway yeah. right there. It's possible. So, <laughs> I don't know. Um, aliens always fascinate me. You know, yeah. I've heard stories like I, I had a, uh, like a stepmom of mine tell me a story one time of going to McMinnville, like, cars were pulled over on the side of the road, which McMinnville was close to Grundy, if you guys don't know. And everybody was just pulled over the side of the road, and she's like, well, why is everybody pulled over? And then she looked up, and there's this weird light mm -hmm. in the sky. Everybody stopped looking at it. I've never heard anybody else tell me the story. She could have just been high at the time. <laughs> you know? But I don't know. I mean, it's it's Was it's she on. younger? Uh, I don't know. Like It was probably like when she was in her, probably her 20s or 30s. You know why I asked that? Because my mom has the exact same story. I don't Maybe know. Maybe it connects. Yeah, she was, my mom was in high school. <laughs> Maybe it was And it. everybody was pulled over like that. Yeah. Um, it's weird, you know, but like, she, like, she, when she talks about it, pure fear. Mm-hmm. My dad vouches too, because mm -hmm. he's seen it too. He, so like. He even said he had a, a light follow him home. Yeah. Well, that's that. terrifying. Yeah, too. That is yeah. terrifying. Well, what, what was the, you guys told me a story one time of like you guys going down the street and seeing something in the sky that was all, and you was like in oh, separate God. cars, yeah, and he was trying to like point it out to her, and she'd already seen that's it. That's one of right? those when when he finally is like, yeah, I see that it's nauseate, and you're like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Wait, yeah. Did it bring like a feeling of dread or something when you see? Super she, dread. I was like, oh God, I just want to go home. Yeah, she she had met me uh, over in Saudi Daisy. Mm -hmm. And we got the same ride, and we went and did our stuff. And Saudi Daisy mm -hmm. is basically Chattanooga, pretty much. And uh, she, like, we went and did our stuff. Come back, we were driving, and I'd stop and get my truck, and we were driving back home. Well, I we have to go up two mountains mm -hmm. to go, and uh, when we got up to the top of the first mountain, she had called and said she saw something. Yeah. And uh, I didn't see it at the time, you know, so I was. You know, actually Let me that. tell you this too, and I'm one of those people. I don't really take my eyes off the road. So like when I when I saw it, I was it it distracted me, and it was so bright, and it just hovered there, and it just shot away like nothing. Just I've never seen mm -hmm. anything just blink out like that before. Oh. That scared me. So I like I said, I called him and was like, "Did you see that?" Because I figured he probably would have, but I was like, no. And he, I'm sure he's probably. Like, <laughs> well, I got, I kind of, I kind of put out because sometimes you see, you know, airplanes and they've got he a, never a headlight, any, like yeah. a like a, like a headlight on them that's really bright, you know? yeah, it's, or it's a decent, you know, decent brightness, and it can play tricks on you. But uh, I'll give you some sort of idea mm. because I've drove that road so many times going back to work. Yeah. Uh, when I drive through there, I drive about. 65, mm -hmm. 70 miles an hour. Yeah. Take me about 11 minutes to get across that part of the mountain to start down the other side. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's 11 minutes traveling at 65, 70 miles per hour. By the time we got to the other side of that mountain to go down, mm -hmm. whatever it was she saw was over there waiting on us when yeah. we were st when we started down those. We're both trying to call each other. We're like, you know, and he ends up calling me before I can get to him. You know. And <laughs> 
And it, it was... He, he's going like this out the window. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> it, it was stationary in the sky. Yeah. And it slowly moved up and then dipped down behind, like, a, a part of mm -hmm. the mountain that come down. And it just slowly went behind it and then don't know where it was, where it went after that. <laughs> where was you on this night, Dr. Cruz? No he was in the spaceship. He was being probed in the spaceship. Uh, don't knock it until you try. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, you know, I'm always like wearing like those space stuff. I get that comet stuff all the time, right? So it's got like the alien shit on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, this one guy was doing a yard sale, man. He was sitting there just relaxing, getting sunburned. This guy walks up to me and he goes, Oh, you like aliens? I go, Yeah. It's some old guy. Like where I live, there's a bunch of weird, crazy people there. And he goes, um, True that. He goes, uh, you ever seen an alien? I go, yeah, I wish. Because I thought he was joking, right? Yeah. Was, I've seen one. I like, That's oh, what I've been like. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I was doing that. I was doing that. And then he's like, what about Bigfoot? You ever seen Bigfoot? I was like, I no. I said, I'd like to, I guess. And oh, he's seen Bigfoot. He's seen okay. two Bigfoots. He said, I, he's seen a big, a big Bigfoot and a little Bigfoot. Oh, he's seen a baby. So, a, and, so a baby, too. Yeah, baby. Baby, baby size. Yeah. And said that, he goes, did you know that when they eat whatever they eat, they stack the bones up. And I was like, I did not know that. I actually have heard that. Yeah. So he went and did the only logical thing anybody could do. There's apparently a number you can call for Bigfoot sightings. <laughs> and if it's got enough water behind it, apparently they'll bring these people in to check out the situation, right? Oh, so, an investigation. Yeah, so they came and he said they took all the bones and every little strand of evidence there was was gone after That's they That's kind of weird. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know if like it's like, do I believe him? But you know, I don't know. I'm, I'm, just, I I'm looking at him. I'm like, now is this the meth rock talking, yeah, or, or that's is what this I'm real? Because it, it's almost like I've heard stories of like the people of bones being stacked up before. Maybe you heard the same stories too, though, right? What a clean Sasquatch. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're so <laughs> yeah. neat, man. They're so, so neat. neat. But, I, I have heard that though. But maybe that's like that. a show of like, yeah, I eat this son of a bitch. I mean, maybe it's like this maybe. is what I did, you know. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's I've never met one, but I'd like to. I, I just <laughs> what makes me think about his story, and like I said, you know, I'm I'm the believer, not really the skeptic usually with these things, but he's seen two, not one, but, but two. two. One was a, a small one, and he's seen an alien. So it's like, damn, dude, just, just he's like, seen it he, all. He like, did he live in Roswell? Did you or see Macy too? Did you see the Jersey Devil? I mean. <laughs> Like the, the, the Mothman? <laughs> He's seen them all, you know. See them all. Living next door to the Mothman. Uh, the Whistling Jack. Yeah, the, the Whistling, whistling Jack. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about this Whistling Jack. Because there's yeah, plans for this the, Whistling the Jack. the story of it. Okay, an original story. Um, the Whistling Jack has actually two names that I have not told you about. The second name uh, you may or may not have heard is also called... The Vampus Cat. Yep. Vampus Cat, yeah. The Vampus Cat? The Vampus yep. Cat. Okay. <laughs> What's the other name? Ancient with the Whistling Jack. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, ancient story. Um, in our area, uh, goes back to ancestors and Native American history. Or your ancestors, as from I'm not from here. <laughs> Some Transylvania. <laughs> Are you from Texas? So, I, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever there's yeah, no it'll change later. Yeah. So, um, the original story is elders would tell of cattle um, being taken in the night, um, very loud noises, uh, thumps, and things being destroyed outside of their homes by morning and just before hearing their animals being drug away they would hear a loud screech that sounded more like a baby cry mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that and it, it it has frightened people and of course story and legend has grew from truth to half truth to, as I say, legend. So, with legend in mind, we are planning our, a new movie. Mm -hmm. We may stretch truth a bit for entertainment, just a little bit, but it will have 
hidden meaning. It will have, hopefully, it will have, I should say, some capturing moments for you to enjoy and give you some of our history told as you were seeing through our eyes. Very hopeful for this movie. Mm -hmm. And I'm putting a lot of eggs in the basket. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've heard a very similar thing like growing up in Alabama, but they called it like a screaming jack, I think. I think really? Like, yeah, I think it's the same thing. Like I've heard like sound like a woman screaming or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. But they call it a screaming jack. I yeah. guess it varies in which part of the area you might live that, in. That's another thing I was going to say about the area. Of course, you know, I'm from Wyoming. Mm -hmm. um, we never heard of a whistling jack. It that's was not until I moved here in Grootley mm -hmm. that it holds true to the area. Because when, like, for some reason, I've always dated guys from Grootley for some reason. But anyway, like, you know, <laughs> like, I remember, like, the very first time hearing, like, you know, one of the guys I previously dated talking about, you know, Whistling Jack and how, like, people would normally see, like, a panther. Mm -hmm. So, and, you know, I, I kept hearing it, not just from him, but just from other people in the area and stuff. And I'm like, this is crazy. So it holds true to the area, you know. Yes. With what Chuck was saying, it story being told in our area of Palmer and his area of Altamont, they share Savage Gulf Park. Exactly. Yeah. They it's meet. Why. They meet in, in intertwine. So, and to clarify more of Whistling Jack and its looks, it is supposed to be hybrid Black Panther, mm -hmm. walk on hind legs. And jump like a rabbit. And I, I was here about red eyes. And, and the red eyes, of course. Yep. But uh, they and you can Google Whistling Jack in Tennessee, mm -hmm. and it actually pulls up stories that people have got online. That's like from Grundy County. Yeah, yeah. yeah the they, only they, stories they that do exist are from Grundy County mm -hmm. on Whistling Jack. Like well, I remember reading one woman's where she was talking about a. Her grandpa, when she was little, mm -hmm. even used to tell her about it, and I think she said she was like uh, in her late thirties or something like that. So mm -hmm. it's been around for a pretty good while. Her grandpa was telling her about it, you know. Yes. So uh, it's it's interesting. It's really there. You can Google it and yeah. actually find stuff mm -hmm. about it. And it does mention you know Wampus Cat, yeah. mm -hmm. and then it's got the Indian legend mm -hmm. in exactly. and stuff like that. So. And, and we will, in the upcoming movie, we will be putting a lot of actual truth, or truth as told by elders. Mm -hmm. We will put a lot of that mm -hmm. in movie. Yeah. I, I should say Native American. Native American. Because Indian was actually what they called Native Americans, yeah. which is wrong because they thought they landed in India, which is why they called them Indians. And so I didn't we got agree. history on the show. <laughs> history, education. Who's got that? Who's got that? But yeah, they didn't just have no, it They didn't have no kind of legends in Mount Eagle. Mm -mm. No, nope. that's disappointing. Yeah, nothing. I mean, nothing like. There you know, was legend we, of Swiss Wildcat that always destroyed Hornet. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Hey, that's mm. fine. I hate. Hey, remember I went to school in Swanee. Uh, Speaking of which, North though, Warrior, uh, Swanee North Warrior. Tigers. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, though, mm -hmm. I hate Monty what. Hornets. What is it with Mon Eagle putting up the signs that says "Big Caution Bigfoot Sighting"? Like, are they trying to? Have they ever actually had a Bigfoot sighting there? I don't know. And was it in the projects down there? It well. No, a project Bigfoot. Wouldn't that be a around? great movie about Bigfoot in the project? <laughs> They're fine. Oh they could have just seen me walking around the flea market. Bigfoot in the hood, man. Bigfoot <laughs> in the hood. He's right around their flea market. The no. big sign. Oh, I know yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah, wow. but, but I don't. I don't think that that. It, it's right. It's right as you come off the interstate right mm -hmm. there, so you're going to see. It. That, well, there's there's a guy that comes, it's, wood, it's, it's wood carving. Oh, like how disappointing thing. is that? Yeah, I'm sorry, I had to break. This my bubble is popped right here live. Yeah, because the dude who makes that is the one that's uh, like as you're going to Cowan through Mount Eagle or Pelham through Mount Eagle. You know, like that Cowan, oh, yeah. you know, the wood shop guy. Yeah, yeah. that's got the tall pole. Yeah, it's just advertisement for there. Hey, you did, well, you did get like you, Mount Eagle did get mentioned in the Smokey and the Bandit song, right? Ain't there a song about going up Mount Eagle Mountain? Is it in Smokey and the Bandit? 
Johnny Cash uh, wrote Chattanooga City Limit sign, yeah. and he talks about going over Mon Eagle. Well, I, you know what you say, uh, like, there wasn't anything like that. I take that back. I remember, like, like they really amped up the Bell Witch, which is... And Mon Eagle? Not that she was there, but, uh -huh. like, that was kind of, like, the thing to talk about when mm -hmm. we were younger and stuff. I remember my dad talking about stuff like that. Like, he scared the shit out of me with the Bell Witch, you know, all the time. <laughs> like, look, she's flying across the sky. I'm like, ah! You know, but really. I think the bell which is probably the closest thing for them. Yeah. You know? Now, like I said, you know, then I started hanging around people from Grootland and stuff like that, and you know, like you said, closer to Savage Gulf and stuff like that, and they're like, yeah, you know, the Whistling Jack and stuff, you know, hybrid, you know, uh, panther lock, you know, and I would hear stories from older people talking about like a panther chasing them like fast on their heels making a weird noise you know mm -hmm. this one guy in particular was talking about like chasing him into the back mm -hmm. of his truck bed like that's terrifying like mm -hmm. even if it wasn't a whistling jack or whatever even like he swore up and down it was a black panther like that's still weird it, most of the people i've talked to that have told me their whistling jack story they all mm -hmm. seem to line up though. they all seem to say the same thing, which is you'll be walking mm -hmm. and it'll be following you and when you stop, it'll stop too. Mm -hmm. And then the faster you get, the faster it goes and then supposedly it's supposed to attack you. And uh, but Everybody who says that they've had an encounter are terrified and they look at you like, I'm not joking. You know what I mean? Like they, yeah, yeah. People that <laughs> they I know get, what they say. People I talk to for reference, uh, the the main thing I got from most of these people were if you knew what was in woods, you would never go traveling again. Yeah. If you knew. I don't go to I'm the glad. woods anyway. <laughs> I don't ever go. I go to the woods all the time by myself. <laughs> Literally by myself, nobody, no dog. Just me and enough. So, she's badass though, so she goes with the I don't know. She, after after <laughs> after listening to some some crazy podcasts about people disappearing in state parks and stuff. Think you may may not I, do that anymore. She I'm not maybe it's not made her think. Super, it's made her think. Yeah, it's made me think. Like I love doing it, but the thought of that I don't know, that's pretty Did did you ever have like any strange occurrences like when you was a kid at home that you can't explain? Like any kind of like memory of some sort of something that oh, yeah. was just too weird to actually be real, but yet to you it, it is real. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I have a great story. Okay, let's hear it. Um, my home has three, three house-sized buildings. Mm -hmm. One of which is just storage. One of night I have to go find something in storage. And uh, it's late at night, but... But it is crucial that I retreat. Mm -hmm. So I go into the night, um, not 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 even fully clothed. Get into said the building and locate what it is looking for. Mm -hmm. All of the sudden, loud thump on the roof. Mm -hmm. Loud thump on the roof. Thought maybe a limb had fallen. Mm -hmm. So I go to the door slowly, not, not not quite frightened, but more cautious. Mm -hmm. Then I get to the door, feel heavy dread, and hear breathing mm -hmm. above my head. story or punchline. <laughs> I don't know, I'm waiting. Okay. Then I slowly come back, watching door moving backwards, trying not to make noise. After hearing sound stop, finally muster enough courage to make break for home. Lit out like a bullet, Never looking back, open door, shut close, hide under cover. Yeah. After, 
breathing, making sure I was not followed, door was locked, start to think more clearly. Mm -hmm. We do have animals, yeah. and many animals here could have been giant raccoon. Could have been. But it would have to be the size of you. <laughs> could have been a bear. It could have been bear. But I like that idea of a giant raccoon, raccoon myself. Yeah. Like, what, a giant, a raccoon. giant raccoon. <laughs> Maybe a giant skunk. Raccoon. It was Stinkor from He-Man. <laughs> Stinkor. <laughs> but make for a good story. BJ, you've got that one story about uh, laying in bed and filling the bed. No. Oh, uh, it's pretty well, good. Mm -hmm. My mom's house, I can tell you a lot of stories from there, and she can too, because when her house burned a while back, mm -hmm. and she, when I was still living at my mom's, of course that was years ago, but she moved in and she experienced a lot of the same stuff I was telling mm -hmm. her about. <laughs> so, but uh, one day I was in my bed, just laying down watching TV, yeah. like I always did, laid on my side, wasn't tired or nothing like that, you know, literally just got in there, was just hanging out watching TV. Mm -hmm. And uh, while I was sitting there, my bed sunk down like somebody had sat on it. Yeah. I mean, there was weight to it, and it forced down. And as soon as it did that, I rolled out of bed and mm -hmm. slammed up against the wall and just watched it and watched it slowly go back up and like whatever it was stood up. Mm -hmm. So at that point, my ass ran out of my room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I went outside. And this was probably, I say, 11, 30, 12 at night. Yeah. And uh, I went outside and stayed out on the porch. I felt safer outside than mm -hmm. I did in there at that time. Yeah. So we had a porch swing, and I, I literally laid in it and stayed out there all damn night. <laughs> I didn't go back in until, I see, until it was daylight and bright enough for me to go in and there would be no darkness anywhere. Like. <laughs> so you think some invisible person sat on the bed? It was... Something. It, it definitely happened and it mm -hmm. like a... I mean it was it was something I'll never forget because my mom's house it's got a history mm -hmm. with it. Like there was an older couple there and like <laughs> when I tell people about this mm -hmm. it seems very cliche. Yeah. <laughs> but an old man fell off the porch I there it. on that land and it was in winter and he hurt himself couldn't get back up he froze to death mm -hmm. so he died there <laughs> i didn't tell this all that i just thought you were like, <laughs> <laughs> oh I, I mean <laughs> 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 just, <laughs> and old, old man pops there. Into <laughs> there, <I'm telling> <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know <laughs> If you are a member of this old man's family, we apologize for yeah. any light notion of this of the subject. I just think, like, you know, like how sad My old man bad. falls off porch, dies in the snow. So so he frees to death. If anybody would, it'd probably be me. Like that. And his his wife, uh, that part I'm unclear on the story. Mm -hmm. I don't know if she was already dead at this point, or if she was too old to go out there and find him. Mm -hmm. But he's out there. He's dead. He froze. Uh, and, like, of course, my mom lives there. It's hard not to crack up, I'm sorry. Okay, no. Sorry. So my, my mom lives on this land now. Okay. Yeah. All right? You may be a mean old man. We don't know. Ever since I, ever since I moved out. He aggravated us, that's for sure. Ever since I moved out, I have not experienced this since. But sorry. when I lived in my mom's house, I always used to hear loud, like, loud bangs. Mm -hmm. And it would always sound like somebody fell on the porch. <laughs> And I, I was fell like, off the porch? Yeah. So I was like, so I, like, I kept hearing the sound of loud booms like that. It would wake you up sometimes. <laughs> Y'all laughing. It's all that night. It's like, old man pops you. <laughs> all right. Yeah, yeah. So keep in mind, old man, okay. Uh -huh. uh, you ever see those old uh, clones that like were in like car-shaped bottles? And yeah, like yeah. That? My you uncle know? had a room full of them one time. If you ever smelled one hey, of those on. fucking things. Yeah. yeah okay. Stout. If you ever smelled one of those, you know what the fuck yeah. you smell. Are they called Stetson? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, Stetson Stout. My my mom would wake up in the middle of the night, feel like somebody was watching her, mm -hmm. and she would smell a man's cologne. So he's a dirty old man, huh? <laughs> oh. So that like that happened. She was telling me that, and I yeah, you know, I thought she was fucking with me, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, I would be, and she she can vouch for me on this. 
I would be in my room and I would hear men talking mm -hmm. in the living room. So living room's here, my bedroom's here. We would hear people talking. I'd hear people talking. I'd cut my TV off or mute it. Cause I was, and I always go, your mom's here. And like you, like you could hear him talking plain mm -hmm. as day. I was like, well, the TV's on in the living room. Yeah. Open my door, silence. Wouldn't hear nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay, shut the door back, unmute the TV. Hear people start up talking again. Mute the TV, still hear him, still hear him talking. Open the door, it quits. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And she, like, I've I've heard my mom come in talking on the phone, mm -hmm. and come to find out she wasn't she there. Wasn't there. I went there to ask her a question and there wasn't nobody in there. I was like, the hair on the back of my neck stood up. I was like, I heard, uh, I go, I got him up one day. I was like, get up. I was like, get up. I said, I'm not going in here and going in this dang, because she, like, she, there, she had an extra room where I would, like, she had a vanity where I would put my makeup on and stuff before I went to school. I was like, get up. I said, I'm not <laughs> going in here. In, in college. Yeah, I was like, I am not going in here and putting this on. Like, get up. Just scary because, like, I clear as day, I thought I heard Tammy set her stuff down. And I'm like, mm -hmm. I go, your mom's here. Part of she I heard, uh, I heard dishes plainly fall and hit the ground. Mm -hmm. and well, I, there's nothing so I, I, was like, I was like, well, shit, I gotta go pick those up. I thought they fell out of the drainer. You know? Yeah. Going there, everything's fine. Mm -hmm. Same place it was. Uh, I mean, just all kinds to of To wrap stuff this up. up at his house, though, the. His mom come home one day and there was boiled hot dogs on the stove. No, it's, it's a weird story. <laughs> what is it? Tell that because that cracks me up too. <laughs> Don't tell me though, man. This old man must have loved some fucking boiled okay. hot dogs. That's all I know. We. <laughs> what bar is was the old man love bar? I was I was gone with my mom one day. I wasn't there. We come back there. home, and there is a pot on the stove <laughs> with boiled hot dogs in. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's got. So you're like, what the fuck? Why the why is there a bull dog? No, like, we didn't do it. Mm -hmm. You know, we were gone. I think about that. So we're, we're son of a bitch. I can't do this. <laughs> so yeah, he just falls through. <laughs> so he's so we're, falling on the floor. I, I think about Casper one day eating it. Just yeah. falls through. But like, so we're like, uh, where the fuck did these come from? I, you know, he said yeah. he you know? Chuck Connery. Yeah. Said, yeah. So we, you know, the, the, the doors were locked. Yeah. You know, and uh. We're perplexed by this fucking these hot dogs cooking on the stove. Yeah. So she calls my brother. She said, "Were you down there cooking hot dogs?" I said, "No. Why the hell would I come down there and cook hot dogs?" She called my, gran question, my grandpa. My grandpa. Called my grandpa. Because you know her. Did you her, come? Did you come down here and cook hot dogs? Yeah. Why would anybody do that? <laughs> so she. So she. So she. So she, so she, so she looks at me and goes, "Goes. Did you cook them?" I go, "I was with you all day." <laughs> The sad, you know, that's the sad thing. Like her rationality there, you know, slipped. She went she temporarily them. insane. It, it, it completely. Bj, even though you were with me all fucking day, did you boil them damn hot dogs? It completely. It broke my mom's brain because she was like, she wasn't thinking clear at all. So we, to this day, have still not unraveled the mystery of the cooked hot dogs. <laughs> so like, it sounds like, it sounds like a Goosebumps book. The mystery of the cooked hot dogs. <laughs> And just hear in the in the distance like an echo of a her. I, 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 got, I got one more story. One more story. It is going, it, but the hot dog one's so great though. It I mean, does. like it's like it I, I should have left with that. I feel I, I, I feel like I feel like the old man probably had like the same voice as the old man from like Killer Count, Clowns from Outer Space. You know, it's yeah. like want my hot dog. You know, <laughs> it just falls right my through. Hot dog. Well, this, like this story, it's. It's kind of funny because of what I was doing. At the you time. know what? I just thought of it. He probably boiled them and didn't eat them because you didn't have any sauerkraut. Maybe that's <laughs> what it was. Maybe he wanted his sauerkraut. He's like shit. <laughs> Did you have buns? <laughs> no. He's above the ghetto dog. He wasn't gonna wrap it in bread, right? I don't like, know. I don't know what was gonna happen. Protest is like fuck it. They but, can stay on stuff. I mean, like. <laughs> like no, nothing was taken. Yeah. No TVs were stolen. Not like it. So no, he lives there. So the dude, hot dogs. His house right? were not meant for him. They were for y'all. He was oh, making he was for you. He, he, he may have had. He's he, like, thank you for letting me stay like, in your house. He's like, you know, we're living here together. I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna fix you some yeah. hot. I bet he put a big spoon of lard in there too when he boiled <laughs> them too, just like all old people do. Well, I was. <laughs> I don't know. Lard water. Like, 
like I said, okay, maybe some butter. Like I said, to, to this day, yeah. to this day, still have not unraveled the mystery. Well, you didn't eat them, did you? <laughs> no. I See, the, you, you you just you're, insulted, you're insulted him. Insulted him. him. A dead man <laughs> makes you a hot dog, and you won't eat it. <laughs> but, uh, I'd eat you a damn dead dog. I'd eat it. If I ever come home and there's a bunch of hot dogs cooked on my stove, I'm eating the sons of bitches. I'm eating them. It's, I'm sneaking in his house tomorrow when he's gone and cooking some hot dogs. What I mean, like, did some you know did some uh, you know some crazy person sneak in there and damn that was like a good house to break into the shit out. Of <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> no, see what it was. You must have had like the off-brand hot dog. They got halfway there there and boiled. It's like damn, this ain't Oscar Myers. <laughs> <laughs> was like. Oh shit! Well, fuck this thing and clean it <laughs> up. These are made out of turkey. I'm not eating these. <laughs> Where's the beef? I was gonna say damn equate, but I don't think they make equate hot dogs. <laughs> equate like the that makes Madison? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, equate is like the Walmart brand of like things, but it's more so like. Household items like medicine and so it, like you mean the great, great value. value. Great value. Oh, I got you. Okay. Why is it great value is like the the food, the food and then you got equate, which is like the other stuff, like the shampoo. I, 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 they don't want to make the shampoo and stuff sound cheap, but they want to make food great sound cheap. Great value shampoo. Yeah, equate. that's what it is. But then why not put equate dogs? That sounds that's better. Oh, that would that would that would. But we need to somebody watching this needs to email Walmart and ask them right now. <laughs> Come on now. Complain, you might get some great you might value. Get some, you might get some coupons or something. You might like get something free. You might. You I may think. get two free tickets to Annuel. <laughs> or it. Or it. Yeah. Or. Don't it. But. but a tip of the hat to the old uh, Hicks and Theater. Say what? Hicks and Theater. I'm plugging you. Send me some tickets. <laughs> <laughs> plugging you. Northgate 14, great, great. We love you. Uh, yeah, but, but there was another story besides the hot There, dogs. there, <laughs> there was one more. Mm -hmm. uh, Get on with it, man. And <laughs> this one really freaked me it's out. It's not gonna be as good. This one really freaked him out, and it ain't about hot dogs. This one really freaked me out. Okay. I was, uh, say, I was probably ten or eleven at the time, mm -hmm. and I was having my bathroom time. Yeah. You know, I was, it was shitting. Doing, I was, doing I, the doo-doo. I was taking me doing a nice shit. Doing the doo-doo. Well, I enjoyed my time in there. You know, I like to read things. Yeah. Okay. Let's be real. Well, I'm in there, and the bathroom that me and my brother shared was here. My brother's room is on the other side of it. So I'm, mm -hmm. I'm sitting on the toilet looking at the wall, and then on the other side of that wall is my brother's room. Yeah. Okay. Well, I got the door locked, and uh, the doorknob starts, <laughs> I mean, just rattling like a like a motherfucker. Yeah. I mean, like somebody's wanting in there, mm -hmm. you know? And uh, I go, you know, I say, I'm in here. And it just keeps doing it. Yeah. So I go, I'm in here. And then I get really pissed because it keeps on doing it. I go, I'm in here. Like that. Poor and old guy just need to take a shit. And, it, and it, it's, it's right on heart. And then it just quits. Poor old fella. <laughs> He's so hard I, to hear. He's hard to hear. So you know? I, was, I, was, I was pissed <laughs> off yeah. because I thought my brother was fucking with me. And I could always tell when he was fucking with me because yeah. whenever I would ask him if he did something, he never could hold a straight face, mm -hmm. you know. So, you know, I finish up. Yeah. I go out of the bathroom. I go in his room, and he's playing a video game. Yeah. I heard this video game playing the whole time. If he'd paused it, Sam would quit. Yeah. Okay, because it was a uh, Super Nintendo. Mm -hmm. So, I go in his room, and I said, uh, I said, did you not hear me yelling in the bathroom? Mm -hmm. And he turned around and said, No. I said, what the hell are you talking about? And I knew right then that he had no idea what I was talking about. Yeah. And I said, okay. I went to my mom, who was in the other room, and I said, did you hear me yelling in the bathroom? And this is a, uh, this was a, you know, mobile home. Yeah. So the walls are thin. You can hear. And I, I was yelling. Yeah. So they could have heard me. Oh, I know. I grew up in one, so I know. Yeah. I so I, I asked my mom, I said, uh, I said, did you hear me yelling in the bathroom? She goes, no. Mm hmm so me yelling at the top of my lungs several times that I'm in the bathroom because I'm pissed off, <laughs> yeah. none of them heard me, okay? Wow. So what, hap what, what happened to where they could not hear me? Like, was I in to some kind fair, of... To be fair, your mom could have been engulfed in something. Oh, yeah, granted, my mom doesn't pay great attention. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it. That's not what I mean. But, like, she... But she she could have been she, a, she could have been you mind. know watching the show or something like that. that or so you could have been mind. temporarily transported into another. That's what dimension. I was thinking. Did, like, did it do something to me to where mm -hmm. me yelling like that could not be heard by somebody in the next room on either side of me? Did you have an out of body yeah. shit experience? 
That's <laughs> possible. You took like this grand shit. That just took you out of your own. <laughs> out of your own. Your soul. <laughs> I'm a, this shit was so good. Your soul left your fucking Maybe, body. maybe you never, sorry, maybe you never returned to the original now. dimension. Maybe this is still the shit dimension. That's right? what I'm saying. Maybe, the maybe. Shit welcome dimension. to the shit the dimension. dimension. Maybe welcome during to the shit, boy. Maybe, <laughs> maybe during that shit, I left the dimension where it was Berenstein Bears. Yeah. And shit. entered the Berenstein Bears. Oh, Mandela. <laughs> Boom. Then where was my what what happened to me? But because uh, I remember when it was Bernstein too. But maybe we all went to a bathroom and come out the wrong place. Is what it was. <laughs> maybe mm -hmm. he, you know, maybe the ghost had cooked hot dogs and had to shit real bad. Maybe, maybe he had some hot dogs. Maybe he did. did. Old people, yeah. man, you know, they can't control them like their vows and stuff mm -hmm. like they used to. You know, so it's it's hard to say. Luckily, luckily, luckily we didn't find any. Uh, any ghost dukes, nope. you know. Yeah, yeah. No old man stuff. drawers laying shitty laying around anywhere. Yeah. Shitty None of that stuff. So. Yeah. You know, poor fella. May, may his soul rest in peace. <laughs> I guess. But may he not come to your house or something now. Yeah. Since he's still at your mom's house. Your mom's still she, at the same house? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure he's she, she, still she there. She still has... I'd be terrified to live there by myself. We should live night. stream there one day or one night, midnight, just go and be like, Old man, are you here? No, you need to do it at the Witching Hour at 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock? You know, she's gone to Florida. Oh, yeah. So we could... Yeah. Don't <laughs> tempt me. Don't tempt me. I'll eat your hot dogs while I'm there, too. I'll boil them. I'll offer him That's one. how we summon him. I'll say, Old man, the hot dogs are here, okay? <laughs> We yeah, have Nathan's brand. Are you come partake in the hot dogs. Would well, you like to say anything here at Toilet Flush? I, I know. Somebody sitting there jiggling the toilet. I can appeal to old people because I was around them for so long, you know. I can turn some soap boppers on. We can get the hot dogs yeah. cooking. He'll be there in no time. If he's there, he'll come out. Throwing some Walker Texas Rangers. Put some patched blue ribbon on the table. Say, here it is, old timer. Come get it. <laughs> But the only story I've got, which is it's really kind of creepy, like it's not it's not really paranormal. I don't know what it is. Yeah. But this it's is, just it's, not it's just strange, and it's like it, it, it's not a dream because I know it's not a dream. I experienced it, but I was so young, you know, nobody would ever believe me anyway. I was like four years old or three or four, which kind of strange I remember it, but it was so strange that I remember it. You know what I mean? I don't know. You, yeah. And it's like, possible. To remember. I always ran through the house as like an old house, one before even the house I lived in when I first met you. This was the one that. Was tore down that across the yard. I don't know if you remember where that open area was. Mm -hmm. Okay, but that was an old house, and it was like small. And I mean, you never really had no weird stuff happen there, you know. But like one day, I remember I was like running through the house and playing, and there was always a storage room that like my grandparents kept locked that was Creepy. never open. And you know, being mm -hmm. a kid, curiosity. Yeah. Well, I had like something I dropped right in front of the door. Now the door had a big crack. Mm -hmm. Like a big crack. Like it was off the ground pretty good. It was a big crack. So you could get down and you see it. You could get it. down and see stuff. But I didn't have to get down and see it. Because what I had dropped in front of me, I swear, now this is this sounds crazy. <laughs> and this wolfy, hairy hand slid out from the door, grabbed it while I was playing with the ball, and just took it. <laughs> and I know that sounds crazy, and I've never really told people this story because it sounds crazy. Like Everybody's like, you're full of shit. Like, you're just making this up. I'm not. No. But I was so young, though. You know, like, it was so young, I was like, did I dream this? <laughs> you know, because like it never happened again. So you kind of questioned yourself. Did you ever if you go really in there? Solid. No, no, I never did. Like uh, we moved out, and the room was never even open until like years later when they tore it down. Huh. You know, but I remember like it was dark in there, and I remember looking under the door, and I never seen nothing. Like okay, I was scared I'll, to look under the door. <laughs> I'll help. I'll help clear yeah. things a bit. Oh, he. You can. Uh, in this <laughs> this day, you have Google. Yes. Look up child. Mm -hmm. Child phenomena and experiences mm -hmm. with misplaced hands. Example: mm -hmm. I had similar. Um, my my mother and father had split up at when I was young age, mm -hmm. and we moved around a lot. And I never felt comfortable in any home I was in. Had bad dreams a lot. Yeah. Um, Reoccurring bad dreams were of hands, no, yeah. no bodies, no faces, mm -hmm. no, just hands that would come up above my bed from cracks yeah. and grab on, mm -hmm. let go, and go back down. Yeah. That's weird. Look underneath bed, yeah. nothing. But if you look up, more there are oh, quite a few stories mm -hmm. of children being afraid of hands. Hands. You have similar story if just hairy wolfy hands. Mm -hmm. 
Could be figment of imagination. Could be. Could have been a dream that's like freaked me out so bad that I've always, since or, I was so young, yeah. that I've kind of integrated into memory, like a, a kind of separated from, from fact or fiction. Like if it's a dream or real, I can't separate it. Or yeah. it could be your grandfather was secret werewolf. I do have a lot of hair. <laughs> I do have a lot of, maybe, maybe. So. That may be where he locked himself when he, when he transferred. Taking the <laughs> turn to like reoccurring dreams since we're kind of, you know, I believe you because, like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, you that's just something that stuck with you. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That kind of, if, if it was more so like a dream or something like that, sometimes stuff like, like a dream doesn't really stick with you unless it's, like, recurring, mm -hmm. you know? And, you, you know, um, I remember having a reoccurring dream. And this kind of is not really paranormal or anything like that, but it's like, I just remember specifically always having this dream when I was younger of... Like, it didn't happen all the time, but when it did, I always, it just was weird. But mm -hmm. think of heavily wooded area, yeah. you know what I'm saying, and a train going around a corner into this heavily wooded area. Just a train. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then I want, I'm doing like this, trying to look, trying to watch where this train's going, but I never can see where it's going. I had that dream so many times. Never could put no Never could metaphoric put reason no. to it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> We're back now for the horror section of the Midnight Lodge. Did we put our our name in the first segment? I don't think so. We what name? He introduced us. He introduced oh, us. But did you say the black one? We in Black Lodge. Uh, copyright, copy, copyright, <laughs> David Lynch. Uh, okay. No, uh, I, I, I don't know. Surely I did. But if you didn't, if you don't know, now you know, as all the old cool rappers in my day used to say. So, tell me, you guys got to go see Annabelle Creations, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So what's the opinion on this one? It is definitely a lot better than Annabelle. I've not actually seen Annabelle. I've not seen Annabelle. I own it. So you didn't watch it, but you went and saw the second one. But yeah, because it's still in the universe. You know, it's still Well, I mean, like, I'm talking about, like... With the Conjuring yeah, and the stuff Conjuring. like that. It's still in the same universe, and I enjoyed the Conjurings. Didn't watch Annabelle. It looked like it wasn't my cup of tea, but... I've heard it's terrible. Yeah, Annabelle? that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Which, sometimes you can't go by other people, because there's been movies everybody says it's terrible, and I enjoy, but, you know, whatever. Uh, so unless you read that review on zombies don't run down there, don't pay it no mind. Right? <laughs> okay, moving along. Here. But I, I did think it was good. I mm -hmm. mean, I enjoyed it. I mean, it was a lot of, like, I had seen where a lot of people were saying, oh, it's it's scary. There's a lot of jump scares. Jump scares, genuinely. Eh. It, it definitely kind of like had a Blum, Blum House yeah. movie. I mean, I mean there were jump scares, but I mean, like, it's kind of one of those things where you know it's kind of... There, yeah. there was some... It was good. Uh, my big thing when I go to movies, too, is I like... I don't just like all jump scares. I mm -hmm. like to be creeped out. And it did have some mm -hmm. creepy parts in it, yes. which I did like. So. I loved jump scares until um, Paranormal Activity 2. It seems like Paranormal was great. Jump scare, jump scare, jump scare. Paranormal Activity 2 did the exact same thing. 3 did the exact same thing. And it completely form 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 it. killed it. Yeah. Well, they've, over they've overdone the jump scare in a lot of stuff these exactly. days. They've yeah. done That's like everything pretty much. Yeah. Uh, I think maybe, I think some of the Insidious movies kind of kind of laid off that a little bit, like the later ones. I mean, you had jump scares, of course, but it's like they didn't just depend on going back to that over and over and over, Yeah. which is what I appreciate. But Creation is what? Basically the making of the doll, isn't it, kind of? Mm -hmm. Like the start, the origin story? The origin it? story. Yeah, okay. it, it tells the, the story of how the, uh, the doll came to be. Mm-hmm. And, uh... It, origin? Well, hmm? well, yeah, of course, origin. <laughs> but that would be an origin. Are you breaking it down for people? I don't know what origin is. Well, I was trying to run through my head a way that I I wouldn't give nothing away, but kind of mm. give you an idea of what happens. Yeah. But uh, the short skinny of it is mm -hmm. that uh, these people have a daughter. Uh, they lose her in an accident, and... Then uh, they're they're taking in this uh, group of orphan mm -hmm. girls because they got a fairly large house and you know nice big farmland and stuff like that. So they bring in these young girls and strange things start 
start happening. Yeah. Uh, with one of the girls in particular. The short long of it. And uh, that, I mean, that that's where you're at. I would have just said it revolves around a preacher, his wife, and their daughter, and an orphanage. Leave it at that. And and that the wife was a doll maker. So but, in, in comparison, though, in comparison to like Conjuring, I feel like one I wish you would have said something about their daughter. And daughter like because. Annabelle, which we've I've not seen, but you've seen the first Annabelle Link, right? Yeah. Where would it rank among them? Do you think it's like as good as a Conjuring movie, or is it not on that level? Uh. I do feel it's, I don't, I don't feel it's quite up there with, because cause I, re, I really like the, the Conjuring, and I really like the Conjuring too because I like the real stories of those. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's definitely, it's not quite up there with them, mm -hmm. but it's definitely uh, definitely a lot better than it. It's anything. definitely, it's, uh, how would I say, it's... It's a worthy addition worthy. to the Conjuring universe. Yeah. I heard they're making a Crooked Man movie. Like, you know, they had one, but it's kind of like a sci-fi type thing. I don't think it was sci-fi, but it was kind of like people compared it to a sci-fi original. Yeah. But I thought it was okay. Like, uh, I watched it. It was like a pretty good slasher, actually, and it has some pretty cool kills. Uh, people kind of shit on it. But yeah. I thought it was okay. Like, it's straight to DVD. I don't know if you guys have seen it or not. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen it. I don't know if it's on Voodoo or not, either. I don't know if it comes cold. But if you all get checks see that, it's got the... Uh, What's that black dude's Majal White or something like that? Something White. Like, well, I can't forget his name. He played, uh, he was in Toxic Avengers, one of his first movies. Toxic, like, uh, one of the Toxic Avengers movies was. Yeah. It seemed like he plays, like, Jax in the Mortal Kombat Legacy stuff, too. Oh, yeah. Like, you know who I'm talking about, don't you? Is it Michael J. White? That's it. I said Maha Jaw White. Like <laughs> that. That it's okay. Uh, nonetheless, though, like, uh, it, it's good if you get a chance to see it. But. Speaking though of like you guys, somebody said the word Stranger Things. You got to see the first season of Stranger Things finally. I did. Have finally. you guys seen it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, I've seen it finally. I seen it about a year ago this month actually. Did Did you fall in love with it like everybody did? Like, did Did you? I loved it. It was when when new when new shows like that come out, and everyone is automatically in love with it. It's always on social media. Everyone is talking about it like Walking Dead. Mm -hmm. Immediately I hate the entire content <laughs> because it's too mainstream. I know He's Andy. But Punk Rock. But I was talked into watching and it gave me the eighties nostalgia mm -hmm. feeling. That, that's and what everybody I says. And fell in love. Just like a car, it's like Carpenter's greatest hits on most. It seems like a John Carpenter thing. It seemed like, you know, Stephen King, you've got that Stephen King influence and they know it. Yeah. You know, and I, I mean, I fell right into the, the trap. You know, I was like, I ain't gonna like it as much as everybody else likes it. But it's really an interesting story and it's one of those where I just finished it within, when I started to that morning, I didn't sleep and I finished it. Yeah. Which is that's, not, it's not that many episodes anyway, mm -hmm. you know. But I think the character of Eleven is like, I can see why everybody loves that character, you know. But I like the sheriff. I thought the sheriff was great. Yeah, the sheriff was And especially, awesome. like, at first, where you get the idea, like, oh, he's just a drunk and stuff. But then you see why he's like he is mm -hmm. and stuff. I think it's a really good character-driven story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's got some cool monster stuff going on in it. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure season two is going to have some even better monster stuff. Mm -hmm. I think it looks like it's diving into, into some H.P. Lovecraft's area, mm -hmm. some Cthulhu like stuff, way. you know. But he, he won't sky. even watch the trailer, though, for season two, because he says he don't he does not want to see it and get, like, so, want it so bad and then have to wait till October it, 21st or something like that to see it, isn't it? Or Halloween? Is it, when it's is it? pretty close to Halloween. Yeah. yeah. But uh, all I, I can say this, like, I ain't going to spoil the trailer for you, <laughs> but they're wearing oh, Ghostbusters, God. you know, outfits. It's mm -hmm. Halloween. 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 Filmed in hell. Oh. So it's like, I need it. In yeah. my life, I need to go. It's yeah. they. What I like about it is, it seems like that show's creators, like they they knew what they were doing when they did the first one, mm -hmm. and they knew what people liked, mm -hmm. obviously, with the whole '80s feel and stuff like that, and because that's what everybody says, so it's obvious that comes through. Mm -hmm. And with this season two, like just from the previews, they took that. And added even more stuff in mm -hmm. that makes it feel already so good. Like like you said, they got the Ghostbusters uniforms on, and uh, they they make a you know like a little ghost trap. Mm -hmm. 
It's going to make us feel like we're there. Yeah, it's pretty much. like it, mm -hmm. it. It's running through, and it's got. Uh, it shows the the blow mode tombstones lit up <laughs> and stuff like that. Uh, they're in an arcade, all this great stuff. Like and we then, are children again. Yeah, and uh, the the coolest thing is it's got. I'm uh, getting excited again. <laughs> now now you'll be able to wait it's, now. It's, <laughs> got, it's got Vincent Price saying his part from Thriller over the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And it is incredible. Oh, like it, it does. It gives you like, it gives you goosebumps. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you know, if you didn't want to watch the trailer, BJ pretty now well. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you know the trailer. You know the trailer. You watch the trailer. This one right here is pretty good. About I'm trying to sum this shit up, but I'm really yeah. just gonna fucking tell everybody. What's well, well, Ghostbusters? Just a trailer. I mean, okay. we, we love Ghostbusters. Yeah, yeah we love Ghostbusters. I mean, it's, <clears throat> but it, it does. It's they definitely listen to people now. Like, You're like an anime awesome. person, right? Like you like anime, don't you? Awesome. You like so? Do you like Death Note? I do like Death Note. Do, are you excited about the Netflix movie coming this month? I did. I watched the with William the Defoe as the uh, the monster. Yeah, yes. I was pretty good. I was, I was looks pretty good. Same dude that did uh, Your Next. Yeah. I forget his name. Same dude did Blair Witch. Same guy. Yeah. I I was skeptical about how it was going to be because whenever we take something like anime. Mm -hmm. Like that's got all these extravagant characters and stuff like that. Like usually American directors tend to fuck it up. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. You know, because uh, they've been, you know, it, for years talking that about making <laughs> them for for years been talking about making Akira. Yeah. And I would love that because that's one of my favorite anime movies. Mm -hmm. But uh, like with this, I was like, well, they're they're gonna fuck it up and change the you know change the character and stuff like that. But they actually made him look like he was supposed to. Yeah. And Will Defoe. Like, like an eight foot tall demon, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. And uh, Will <clears throat> Defoe sounds creepy as fuck. I was trying to explain that. I don't know if it was to you or Ethan. I was trying to explain it to somebody mm -hmm. about that because Death Note. Because I'm familiar with it vaguely, not hardcore familiar with it, but I know what it is. Mm -hmm. But like the main character that, that has the book, right? Yeah. Now, if you write his name down, the demon guy pretty much kills him. Okay, that's, that's, that's the deal. Okay. In the comics, is that guy like a bad guy or a good guy that writes the names down in the book? Well, because it seems like he's a unwilling, you know, goodish guy in the trailer. Like you don't really want to do it, you he, know. But he's it's talked into it. He he decides that it's something that can be used for good. Mm -hmm. So he starts trying to, like he he kind of he kind of kind of runs people through like a screening process. Like, yeah. Do they deserve this? You know. Yeah. And then decides. If their name should be written down in the death, mm -hmm. note, you know, if they're a bad enough person, and he thinks that, you know, mm -hmm. it should be done, then they go in it. I think it'd be pretty bloody too, I believe, which is always a good thing. Um, the Adam Wingard thing, now, which you know, he started off with. I don't know if you have you ever seen Homesick. I'm not. It's like uh, it's got uh, Bill Mosley in it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's got Tiffany Shepherd in it. And it's it's like it's got its appeal, but it's not that good. It's like I it's kind of hard really to see that and think that this guy went from that to your next. And was it the stranger? I think the stranger was it that one he directed about the guy that comes back from war and says like he's the friend of the guy that was in war. Have you seen that? Yeah. Okay, like that was great. And then your next was great. And then of course Blair Witch. It depends, you know. It depends on your opinion on that because I don't. know. I'm a little mixed on that one. I but then, like he's, but, and now he's going to do, he's going to do the next what, Godzilla movie, right? Yes. Like, how, I mean, that, it gives motivation to people that start at the bottom of filming stuff. That him, there is a way to climb that ladder to something else. Uh, well, yeah, him and uh, Michael Doherty that did Trick or Treat, mm -hmm. they're they're working on it. Yeah. So, uh, and it's supposed to be pretty good. Mm -hmm. and, like they're they're hyping it up. They're putting a lot, supposedly putting a lot of. The kaiju and the, you know the monsters, yeah. like they teased Mothra and King Ghidorah and stuff like that. So it could be pretty cool. Did you say you recently saw Blair Witch, which is like the sequel to the original Blair Witch? Have you seen it yet? Mm -hmm. Okay, what did you guys think of that? Because I was a little underwhelmed with it. Like my issue was, I, at first I thought it was kind of cool because we was tagging into the the original and he's yeah. like the brother to her and all that. But then it kind of like it loses me like in the middle towards the end. Yeah. Because it seems like it gets a little predictable, and also it seems like I just didn't like the characters. Yeah. Like, you got the, the stereotypical, like, the 
Like that one dude, you know, he comes in and going to help him, and he's got his girlfriend, and his girlfriend's probably the best character I thought in the movie, yeah. you know. But I didn't care for him, and then he had like his little cheaper camera, and then they did the. It was cool that they did the droid thing and stuff, but it kind of lost me a little bit halfway, and uh, I don't know, like I was a little underwhelmed. But I think it's probably better than Book Shadows, maybe. Uh, you know, which some people like that a lot. I, well, I I watched Book of Shadows again the other day. We did mm -hmm. because. Uh, they come on TV at Santa a long time. I didn't really. So I didn't pay much money. I, I remember when I watched it, I I'm didn't, I didn't feel like it was like a Blair Witch thing. Yeah. You know, because, you know, it doesn't make a story, but not really related to the Blair Witch, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But it was, it's cool because, I mean, how scary would it be that, you know, somebody ends up dead, yeah. and then you're telling these people that it was this thing and all the video evidence that you think you have of this spooky thing that's happening mm -hmm. it shows you killing the person you know yeah. so you're you know you're fucked <laughs> i mean they're you know they're gonna think you're crazy mm -hmm. and all the evidence shows you kill this person so mm -hmm. that'd be a terrible situation to be in you know I, so I, that's kind of cool i just it. thought like you know the Going back to even the original Blair Witch, I thought that gimmick was great mm -hmm. at the time. Which some people said that, like, you know, even sci-fi played along with, like, here's a documentary about it. This really happened. And that made me think, well, shit, did it really happen? You know, and it's like... That was, that was, like, that was well, a big stigma about it. Yeah, and that was, like, early days of the internet. So, I mean, like, there wasn't everybody mm -hmm. wasn't online. You couldn't just hop online and find out it was fake. I mean, they, they did a good job of covering that up. But, you know, they kind of stole that concept because I heard, like, like, the last broadcast. Are you familiar with that? It's a shot on video movie. Huh. Well, it I think it like maybe premiered at a festival or something before like it never, it came out on DVD after I oh, think, yeah. but I think like it had an early screening like a pre early cut of it before and there's like the legend is like the Blair Witch people saw it and like, hurried up and did their thing oh, you know and then kind of got creepy. the you know got the jump on it you know yeah but you know I I don't know like I said Blair Witch I like Blair Witch I don't love it but I I I can tolerate it. I really like the first one probably yep. better than all of them though. It was, a, the Blair Witch Project was a, uh, they, it was genius the way that they marketed it. Mm -hmm. Because like you said, at that time, you know, not, information wasn't as readily available yeah. mm -hmm. as it is today. And, uh, you know, of course I was younger at the time, so, like, when you see, er, everybody's wanting to see something that shows you once and for all, like, this shit really exists, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. there's freaky shit out there, you know? So when they marketed it as that, like, you know, we found this footage mm -hmm. and we're putting it out there, like, you think, especially younger, you're like, man, I'm going to see some crazy shit and it's real. Yeah. You know? yeah. That's what I liked about it was the build-up, but then the movie let me down when I watched it. I didn't like the ending of it. I never liked that ending. The build-up. Yeah. With, it, they try to go in more detail into that with the new one. Yeah, they you know. they tried to give a little, little bit more of that, but, I mean, it, I mean, you got to hand it to them because they... You know, they made it with, you know, practically no money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then made millions. It's <laughs> kind of like they, they repeated the same formula for paranormal activity later on, pretty mm -hmm. much, you know. Yeah. Which started this found footage craze, which is kind of still going on, you know. I mean, it's, they've evolved it a little bit, because now we've gone to the first-person point-of-view movies, which is kind of a new thing. But, yeah. you know, you kind of go back to Blair Witch, that kind of kick-started it all. But, uh I don't know, like, as far as, like, back to the main subject of the new Blair Witch, did, did you like it, though? I, I don't like any, any Blair Witch. I don't think, like, like BJ was talking about, the, if you're gonna... Where'd that accent go? <laughs> <laughs> you're not from Transylvania? <laughs> oh, this. Okay, okay, no, uh, if you're, good. If, if you're going... Oh, no. <laughs> whichever you're comfortable with, though, whichever you're comfortable with. <laughs> if you're going to have have the killer be yourself, and you you don't know that mm -hmm. you're pretty much possessed, seems to me in movies that's that's demon possession, not witches. Yeah. But if you have to put a lot of thought in it, what? What could have witches been like if you know they were in older days? Could they have been demon possession with witches? Yeah. I I don't like witch movies. That's. Well, I, I do like witch movies. You don't like it. You like so like Hocus Pocus. Oh, 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 Hocus Pocus <laughs> is badass. <laughs> yeah. it, it just is. But. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's that right out there. Yeah, yeah, I love Hocus Pocus. Good job, Disney. Um, <laughs> you like you like uh, Drag Me to Hell? That's kind of a witch thing. Yeah, it kind of is, but I don't like I, I don't like they saying this is Blair Witch and like you don't think it's like true to the real legend. I don't know. You don't, really. you think I think you're it. feeling the way I feel about it. It's like. If, if it's going to, like, I love a good witch movie, but if it's going to be a witch movie, I want it to be a witch movie and not yeah, people running around in the damn woods. But, exactly. Cussing and seeing snot and, uh, you know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sticks and trees. I want the sticks and trees and stuff like that. I'm wanting to see, I'm wanting to see the witch. Yeah, exactly. I, I see that. I don't yeah, see a stick in a tree and rocks piled but up on the ground and like, oh, there's witches me. around. But that's, I don't, that's, yeah. not, that's not scary to me. That's no. why I hate that movie Willow Creek. Yeah. And, and I know Willow it was scary Creek. to other people, but it just it mm -hmm. didn't do it for me. I'm just I, like, think, I think it's more of a situational thing if you were out here and you heard this shit in the woods. You know, I think we, it's we live in the woods all around. Exactly. It's a country versus city. Yeah. We don't we don't live in the city. We're not afraid of sticks. Yeah. This, it doesn't do anything for us. That's that's why it didn't it didn't hit. I mean, yeah. If it's just you're gonna say it's just a story, great. It's just a story, and these people blowing out. They got you know this all this shit happened to them. All right, that's a story. But if you're gonna call it a witch, you need to do a little bit more witch shit. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of what I yeah. Yeah, yeah well, that's kind of like in the same vein, the same style film. Did like I mentioned there. Have you seen Willow Creek? Made by Bobcat Goes Away. Mm. Mm. No. That, I want more Bigfoot. I didn't get no Bigfoot in that movie. Yeah. I mean, it's like, you ain't seen it? Mm -mm. I'm sorry. Uh, it's a letdown. You don't want to see it. It's a waste of time. It's like you follow this couple. They're, they're going on the trail of Bigfoot. They go to like the most known populated area where Bigfoot's like the shit. Like the Bigfoot themed restaurant, which I think is actually a real place. I think they actually went to a real place to shoot that stuff. Mm -hmm. That's cool. But then they like went to the woods in for the, for the beef of the movie. Mm -hmm. And nothing happens. Like nothing happens but rattles and weird sounds and stuff like that. And there's like one scene that goes on for and like 15 minutes. Yeah. Where I think it's like 15 minutes they're just in a tent. Hearing weird stuff that's outside. There's no cut. Nothing changes. It's just then they're like, "Oh God, do you hear that?" It's paused for about five minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hear it. It's just I felt so disappointed with that. It's so hard to find a good Bigfoot movie. <laughs> and I'm not saying like, 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 you know, with the with the Bigfoot and the witches mm -hmm. stuff like that, like or the Blair Witch, or whatever. Where am I going with this? I'm so tired. Um, <laughs> But, like, I'm not saying you had to have a full-blown, like, Bigfoot or something like that, because I know it, it can it can get to where it'll look real or just not weird, or, you know, right, not right, it'll look weird. It takes the imagination out of it, but, like, like, let me see a silhouette, let me see some hands, let me see something, you know what I'm saying, other than just, like, rattling, because then that, to me, is, like, it could just be your mom and not Bigfoot. Yeah. You know We're just saying? making films now. Having... I mean, I know that there are times when you're making a movie and you need time to fill. Yeah. Being in a tent for 15 minutes to fill your time is a is is not just filling time; it's wasting. It. Well, what gets me before they they shut down the shithole that was the message board in IMDb was there's people like, oh, that's great filmmaking right there. You know, it's like that's mood and atmosphere. That was dull. It was not mood and atmosphere. What well, for the for the Willow Creek thing? You know, oh, yeah. in a tent for so long. You know. Um, I was trying to sit here and remember off the top of my head, I can't remember it, but kind of bringing everything back full circle, there is a Bigfoot movie made by, I believe, a guy that did Blair Witch, one of them, because there's like two Blair Witch guys, Yeah. and they did one, I can't think what it's called, it's on, yeah, it's on Voodoo. But that what, is a good, I was going to I can't think of its name though, I can't but either. it's like, but it is a great but Google it, movie. you know, it's it's, a, it's probably the best Bigfoot movie I think I can think it of is. off the top of my head. It, so it turns out that movie's called Exist. It is. It's and that guy, cool. like, he also did uh, a really cool segment of VHS to... And he did Lovely Molly, which I thought was really good. Have you guys seen... Anybody seen Lovely Molly? I have not. I have not. All found footage stuff, all good. So, so one, he stuck to the... He stuck to the format. He's probably the, okay. one of the better ones at the format, really. Because he seems like he's able to keep it interesting somehow. Most people just kind of go for, like, the format, which the format these days is some creepy... Doesn't really happen until the last act, you know, and it's just they try to build mood and tension, and a lot of times it just don't work. There's like a million found footage movies that just don't do nothing for me these days, but it doesn't seem like it stops them from making them. I don't think I could ever make one personally. Found footage? Yeah, I just don't like them that much. Uh, every now and then one will get you. Like, I thought Paranormal Activity was good, the first one, but like he was mentioning earlier, 
they ran in the ground, you it know. Just came that, same thing. Yeah. I, I watched it. Uh, that's when she was going to school in Murfreesboro. I watched it and did nothing for me. Mm. Uh, like I, I had all these people, like there's like one, one of the scariest movies I've ever seen, and I, and I I watched it and I was like, like the whole time I was like, when's it? Going to be scary. Well, you know, what I mean? it's like people, there's people like local people right here that I had to talk to on Facebook and stuff that thought that was real. Yeah. And I was like, okay, so if it's real. And would argue about how it. How do you explain the alternate endings? Like, did he bring these sons of bitches back live and do that every <laughs> way? I mean, what well, exactly are you getting at here? But some people are gullible, you know. Yeah. But one last thing we'll cover before we wrap up the first episode of the Midnight Lodge. <laughs> Tell me, man, we're going to get it down for us over there. Uh, Horrorblock's apparently dead now. Yeah. Which is, I guess, kind of sad because, like, they were good at first. I think you're the only one here really with experience from that you, I guess, mm -hmm. would count as well. I've had one in my lifetime as a promotional one. I yeah. don't think you've ever gotten mm -mm. one. Yeah. But it started out, like you said earlier, when we were talking about it off camera, it started out pretty good. Got a little eh, lackluster, and then it kind of just I, got back good before it fell off again. Mm -hmm. It was too late at that point, I guess. I, I, I think... Uh, I think a lot of the the throwaway stuff that they would throw in there, like some of it was neat stuff, but uh, I kind of throwaway stuff because it was stuff you didn't really care about, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, it just had like a horror movie stamped onto it or something, you know. Yeah. Uh, I think that got to a lot of people, and that may have ultimately ultimately been the downfall. Yeah. Because people were just like, that's it's not worth and it. And I think like one thing, there's just it's like anything that works. There, they, there's so many that follows and yeah. you get like this big pool and there's only so much money to go around you know yeah. there's like the nerd block and there's the dread central uh was it box of dread or whatever they called it yeah and if you like wrestling there's D wrestle crate and wwe crate and yeah they're I mean, makeup boxes yeah know, like, <laughs> and if you're like us you know we don't just love one thing you know mm -hmm. we love multiple things so it's like do I want to get the nerd block? Do I want to get the horror block? You know, you kind of yeah. see what people got ahead of time on YouTube or something. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of decide. But, you know, there's only so much money to go around, especially like these days. It's kind of hard for somebody to, unless you're like totally well off and ain't got nothing that's going on. Just like, I want them all and buy them all. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I hate to see it go, but, you know, maybe it's kind of good too. I don't know. I mean, because I, I hate if people are losing their job, at it, but they're probably not because I'd imagine whoever runs that runs some other blocks as well and boxes so they'll be all right so if you, if you lost your job i apologize uh surely you had more eggs in the basket than that but i don't know you know it, i don't maybe they could have done something extra maybe they should have done like i don't know just something better you know like uh i, I was when i got a movie like but the one i got when i got the movie it was the same movie i already had of course yeah. not everybody's like us and got a whole bunch of movies but yeah. maybe they could have went out of their way to try to do a little bit more unique stuff in it or something like yeah. did they ever do autograph pictures or anything in those things uh yeah. they yeah they, they did. did uh they did actually they uh, uh i got a signed picture of the uh the twins from the shining i know that's actually, pretty cool yeah, uh you did. i got that i got a uh nightmare on uh, nightmare on elm street uh film sale uh uh, that, it, well, I, I sound like an idiot because it has some pretty cool it, stuff well, there. No, it sounds it, like it, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It, it did. It did, and then it started to drop off for us. It and did. That's when it we did canceled. have cool stuff. You think they just had trouble getting new stuff, or you think they just kind of got complacent and thought, "Well, they'll buy whatever." I don't know because it did have it did have some cool stuff sometimes, but it was kind of like gambling. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, sometimes you got a shirt you didn't like, mm -hmm. and sometimes, you know, you you get. You know, one you loved, and then you got the Room Morgan magazine. So I mean, that. Or was then good. you get three blocks in a, or you know three of the horror blocks yeah. in a row that completely sucked, and you're like, and. Yeah. I had friends, you know, that that like regularly was buying that stuff, like you know, YouTube friends, movie making friends, and they did videos of it, and like you, they couldn't hide their disappointment on some of those. It's like, well, I didn't, I don't like any of this, and they're like, I don't know if I'm going to keep on doing this, you know, because. It kind of, like I said, they hit that down point, yeah. and there was better options out there, I'd imagine. Like, I'm a big fan of, like, the DVD pack things, mm -hmm. but even that got to where I got everything that's already in it. Like, there'll be an exclusive, like, you're paying whatever those prices are for, like, the horror, uh, you know, the DVD horror packs, or whatever they call those, is horror pack, I think. Yeah. There's DVD and Blu-ray, and you're paying whatever it is, and you're basically getting just, like, most of the time for me, it's like one movie I didn't have. Yeah. And it's like, I don't know if that's worth that, because I could go to eBay and get it later on, maybe, you know, if I wanted that, so... But, I it, but I mean, they like, they had it set up where you could, you know, pay monthly, and if you was like, well, 
you know, not really wanting to do it this month. You didn't have to pay for it. Just do it next month. Mm-hmm. But like I said, whenever I cut mine off, I did, I did it for, you know, seven, eight months. And uh, when I cut mine off, then like the block after that had uh, like, had you know, they started putting Blu-rays in it. They had, like I said, they had Turbo Kid. Yeah, well, that, that, I was what like, a time to quit, like, right? That, yeah, I was like, yeah. I'd like to have that movie. I still don't have that movie, actually. I need and, that. Uh, well, I, I mean, I like I bought it uh, mm-hmm. on PlayStation Network. I got it on my PlayStation, mm-hmm. but they sent the the physical Blu-ray. Yeah, like, yeah because but, of course, it, I canceled was it. Like the right? <laughs> book or three disc or something like that. Do you know? No, it, it was just I think the it was just the uh, yeah, cool movie just now. a standard release. Mm-hmm. But uh, you know, it was like and like I said, I got the I got the box of Dread too. And uh, it was kind of the same way. I think I think Dread Central used a lot of promotional items, like people they sent out to reviewers and stuff, and they just yeah. got like stacks of them, just like throw it in, you know, like here's your whatever ink pen or highlighter or something like that. Here's your to- Toxic Avenger highlighter, you know, just weird stuff like that, yeah. which is okay, I guess, but it's not nothing that makes you go wow, you know. Yeah, yeah. wow, fifty bucks. Fifty bucks. There I go. I got a highlighter, you know. <laughs> no, I, I, I think uh, I think in mine I got a. You might get like a phone go pop thing every now and then or something, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I think I got like a like one of those cinch bags of uh, all cheerleaders must die. Yeah. They, see, they sent those to reviewers like when they reviewed the movie, too. So they they probably didn't cost them nothing. And yeah. They're charging they whatever, whatever they're charging. <laughs> yeah. Just throw it in. Uh, granted, it was cheaper yeah. than Horror Block, but, you know. Probably still wasn't worth the money, though. Yeah. Yeah. Like it was, like I think it got like a quarantine, like, you know. Like doctor's mask thing. Yeah, which is like cool in theory, but it's like, do I really want to buy this? You know, like it's good for promotional stuff. Yeah. Like I got a whole bunch of Belco experiment pins and shit, right? But I don't want to pay money for all of that. You, you know, know? this was gonna say like, I'm, like, and it's the same way with like these these makeup box like subscription boxes and stuff too. I mean, I've never got one because mm-hmm. I've I've seen people people get them like girls get them and stuff, and I'm like, well, the you know for what you pay. From what's in them, it's all normally. It's it's mm-hmm. just like um, samples. Small yeah. samples. Too. Okay. Same way with like the horror block stuff. And what I'm getting at is like with the samples, you can go to places like Sephora and stuff. You know, I know you guys probably don't know what Sephora is. I don't know what that is. It's a makeup store. <laughs> oh, anyway, oh. You can go in there and you can get as many samples as you want oh. for free. Okay. So why pay? for a subscription box, you know, that majority you're going to get just a bunch of samples and crap samples, mind you. Just saying. It's like and my you, mom used to say, why buy the cow when you can get the milk for that's free, what I'm right? Saying. And the same with the horn block, you know, you're getting like these promotional pins and stuff that they're mm-hmm. probably getting in a big old pack anyway that's free. Like, hell, we, we printed up all of these. What are we going to do with free. them? Give them to the Dread Central, yeah, you know? Give them to these guys so they can, you know, you, you know, put them in there and, you know, it's, just, it's, just, it's the same thing. It is hit and miss with those makeup boxes and, and, and the horror block and stuff like that. Sometimes you I've actually I've been about the nerd stuff, too, you know. Like, I have, too. Yeah, so, I mean, it's... I want a DVD store that gives out free samples. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, technically, if you're on the press list, you get a free sample. Well, to I'm review. not. Yeah, yeah, but I, I, I throw you a bone every now and then. Yeah. I think, uh, like I said, it, it was kind of like gambling in a way. Yeah. You know, yeah. you never really know what you get. Mm-hmm. But... I got to think about it. I was like, well, I could, you know, I can kind of gamble on this. Or I can just go buy what I want. Or, right? yeah. <laughs> or I can use the $40, $50 yeah. and pick out what shit I wanted for that. Yeah. Month, you know? Exactly. <laughs> so, so I do want that Snick box. I like Nickelodeon that, box. My God. Oh, yeah? Now, Nickelodeon? Yeah, they, they do everything like a... Everything great in it. Yeah, they, they do a box. Of, they actually have everything special made. Mm-hmm. And it's all 90s Nickelodeon stuff. And it's made specifically for that box. Made specifically for that box. Like they had, bad, they bad had like action. 90s live action. And That's it had like the, yeah. the guts. Uh, <laughs> like the rock that you can win, you know. Mm. Like the old The trophy. guts of the rock. <laughs> the gut of Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, evolution of the bull. <laughs> yeah. But it had a, like, that made cool stuff. Yeah. You know, like, what about what about the? I know we're kind of swaying, but what about the the food subscription boxes? They have those too. Yes, like yes. overseas candy. They, and they food. send you Japanese candy and shit like the, that. They have boxes that are dinners that all you and it tells you how to make the dinner that comes in the box. Yeah, yeah. they send it to you, the was it Blue Apron? Yeah, that Blue yeah, Apron. Yeah, I'm talking about it like it's a subscription box and like you can you can sign up for like Japanese snacks. Yeah. And they'll send you stuff from over there, like, right. you can pick whether you want, like, the snacks or you want the candy or whatever, and, like, I don't know if y'all have ever had, like, 
like the real like Japanese candies. I've like never that. had it. Mm. But the stuff is crazy because like I, my cousins. It's a lot cooler. Than me. Yeah, my cousins <laughs> are. Yeah, my work brought some candy home. Mm -hmm. They're Oriental, so like they're they're. Uh, Oriental, my God. They are. <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're, they're, they're Japanese. <laughs> okay, they're half Japanese. And Reba, okay. My cousins are from, they're not from Japan, but their father is. And he married my mom's sister. So, yeah, they're my cousins. They are, Yasu. you know, they have a Japanese father. Anyway, so every year they go there and visit their grandparents. Mm -hmm. And they come back and they bring us all kinds of weird snacks. I remember, like, weird candies and stuff. I mean, just crazy stuff that we over here just don't do. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you ever get the chance, sometimes in World Market and stuff, you can find that stuff, but... Next time your cousins go, tell them bring me back some sake. Okay, so on that note, we're gonna wrap up the first episode of the Midnight Lodge right here on what I will assume is the ZombiesOverRun.net YouTube channel. Maybe your own channel. I don't know if you got one. But we'll... We'll, we'll, I put it on all of we'll pull our sources together for this. I'm going to put at the bottom of all of our specimens here, proper word, I don't know, our bodies, we're going to put our mm -hmm. contact information, what are <laughs> contact information? These four guts sitting here. These four guts here. We're going to put our Instagram names and our Twitter names if we have them. Feel free to follow us, unless you're creepy. You know, if you like Creature from Black oh, Lagoon, follow her. <laughs> and if you like outdoor shit, which I don't know after... If you like offensive stuff, you can follow him. Yeah. And if you like to see a million movies posted with no context to him, follow me. And if you like to see the old good doctor do what he does best, you can follow him. He'll be singing you a tune maybe every now and then. Mm -hmm. uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share this with all your friends if you have any. Hopefully you have any. But if you don't have any, you can follow us. We'll be your friends. Okay, anyway. we'll, we'll be your friends. We'll be your friends. We'll friend. <laughs> so, until next time, this concludes the first episode. I started to say it concludes the first meeting. <laughs> but, you know, that's a little bit into the copyright infringement area, so we're going to hold it off. So, until next time, peace out or something. Say goodbye, Prometheus. Goodbye, Prometheus.